In order to run a blood drive, to host a blood drive, um, we need a willing sponsor like Donaldson, and we need the space, and we need somebody willing to get here early to open the doors so we can bring in our equipment, um, and we need somebody who's passionate about the cause. Each drive, we average about 80 donors, and so um, we have over 450 blood donations per year with our five drives. Donaldson is one of our greatest sponsors. They are um, incredibly supportive of giving back to the community, but they also work very hard on blood drives um, to try to get as many people through the door as they can to save as many lives as they can. I have been given blood for quite a while. I started when I was 18. Yep, my mom got me into it. I'm working on gallon eight. My manager came and asked me if I want to donate blood today, so I said yes. And I came in here, um, it was my first time ever donating blood, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The only way another person can get a blood product is through a voluntary donation. So, uh, somebody has to come in here, get the guts up to do it the first time, bleed for another person, and then try and get them back every 56 days to three months to keep doing it. In 2004, I was a senior in college. I was driving back to school after Thanksgiving. Uh, it was very cold, but a beautiful day, and I ended up hitting some black ice under an overpass. My car uh, rolled after I overcorrected, rolled eight times, and uh, I had a ton of injuries, but the worst was a torn artery in my leg. Uh, I've had 32 surgeries in 13 and a half years and have received about 60 units of blood uh, initially and then through the recovery and complications. My oldest son, Tate, who's 13 now, was diagnosed with blood cancer just a month shy of his second birthday. Tate went through two years of chemotherapy and required two blood transfusions in the process. And now Tate's an active teenager, active in his middle school on the honor roll, and playing multiple sports. So I'm just grateful to blood donors who you know, gave blood that offered Tate the chance to fight his cancer journey. Prior to Tate's diagnosis, I wasn't a regular blood donor at all. Actually, I was completely afraid and scared to donate. Um, but after seeing Tate and the hours it takes for him to receive a blood transfusion, I vowed to myself I would become a regular blood donor and encourage those around me to do the same. They're obviously experts. They know exactly what to do and they know how to be very efficient with it. Um, they're also just fun people to talk to. They make it easy, they, they joke, they laugh, they bring movies. You know, what could be better? One of the things that's common among our employees and, and kind of across our culture is a generous spirit, right? We are very customer focused in our work and we're very community focused in our lives. It's an expression of our values. If you are able, you know, consider giving either your blood or time to a Donaldson blood drive or community drive because you really are able to make an impact.